Hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon. Today we're playing more Signales. Oh, so this is a small battle key. I think I know where this goes. Wait. I think this is for the gun case. Oh, picked up the cassette too, but that's fine. We can combine this with this. Okay, yeah. And we get the revolver. A short barrel, double action, six shot revolver that fires. Fires 12 millimeter high power ammo. Okay. I'll put in for now. I'll take this and this. Equip that. Reload it. Put the rest of the ammo back. Put the shotgun back. Got the cassette. Oh, we need some healing, right? We'll take one of this and just use it immediately. Yeah, we're on yellow. So we also have the auto injectors. It didn't fully heal us? That's interesting. It didn't even fully heal us from yellow. That did it though, yeah. Okay. Um, what else should we take with us? I'm not taking the revolver because we have a healthy amount of ammo. It's a good backup. I'll take the rest of the pistol ammo, it's just 3 ammo. We'll eventually use it and free the slot up. We know there's a magnum ammo in here, we haven't picked up. We'll just do that if we find ourselves nearby again. So we still don't have access to any of those rooms, right? No library key, no... Let's go see if we can use the cassette on basement 6, the radio transmitter. We don't have access to the rest of level 5, right? No. So the radio transmitter is right on the other side of this thing again. So we can go get Magnum ammo quickly. Oh, wrong door. Uh, wrong door. Forget about it. I don't like leaving items behind, so since we're here... Get out. Get out. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Was that blood smear there before? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I need to fix the torn tape inside the cassette before I can play it. I thought so. Can I use any of the tools here to fix it? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. So what else is accessible? It says there is a staircase in the ARAR dorm. I guess we'll get to back to level 8 and check these rooms. This one needs a flashlight. I don't remember it. Okay, so let's first go directly to the other side. Okay, I, I, I do not think this blood smear was here, guys. I, say, I think something has changed here. Is it just me? 
Hallelujah. Okay, so we can't access the library. It's locked. Okay, we haven't been in here. Okay. Oh, that's a... Oh no, wait, what? It's protecting the other one too? Oh, the other ones. Oh, come on. Where am I stuck? Didn't fall? Come on. Uh, it locks onto... Oh, come on, yeah. It just keeps locking onto stuff and I don't want it to. I'm wondering if I can turn that off now. I need here to... Oh no. Oh come on, that hit the seal. Oh, let me pass. Uh, okay, the auto injectors are not equipped, so we're not gonna get a free heal if we don't do something about it. No, use. And equip the flash tile again. I need her to try to swing and then I need to be fast. Oh no! And that shotgun around, I should have taken the shotgun with. Yeah, there is a file there also. I'm just looking for some handgun ammo. Yeah. Come on! Okay. I wish I had thermite. I wish I had a lot of stuff. Okay. So, we're kind of screwed again for space. Storage. Security technician controller replica, stork. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the birds. They all have birds' names. Generation 5 combat lead unit. Framed by a mechanical with polyethylene shell and bullet resistant armor plating and she's quite tall too. Each cadre of protector security technicians is overseen by a controller unit, the most common of which is the stork type. One of the tallest replica models thanks to their extended legs, storks figuratively and literally keep a constant bird's eye view of any situation, ready to direct and coordinate their assigned security technicians. Their tough, no-nonsense demeanor, though sometimes described as brutal and even cruel, makes them the perfect fit as unwavering sentinels of order. Yeah. Somebody's dead here. Can interact with her. It's more magnum ammo, sure. I don't have any slots for it. I don't have a transportation. But there's nothing else in here? I find that quite hard to believe. She's uninteractable. Do the paintings? No. Really? So what was the point of this room? Just a storage file? This was their dorm? So, really? Nothing... No key items? Nothing really, really useful? Well, we're leaving back one healing item, two healing items... Yeah. Okay, we should remember that, there's two killing items in here. But there doesn't seem to be anything else, so... Uh, yeah. The door to the right requires the hummingbird key. Don't have it yet. Ah, oh, right, yeah, this requires the eagle key. No, nothing. Yeah. Okay, this is the mineshaft axis, which also gets us nowhere. So, what am I missing? Is there something we can do with the duct tape that I haven't. Oh, wait. I can use duct tape to fix the broken cassette? Actually, yeah, this.
this way. That would be stupid, right? You can't fix cassette with duct tape. It's a freaking... Just stick into the machine. Wouldn't play correctly. I'm sure it's gonna work, but... <laughs> it shouldn't. Come on. Um, yeah. Put this, put this. Oh no, I put a uh, useful thing here. Uh, actually, two more. That's two full. Yep, five and five. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but okay. If it works. Okay, so we need to go one level down to the transmitter. Again through a bazillion enemies, but what are you gonna do? There's no quicker way to get there. Yeah, I don't see one. She will never learn. <laughs> it's gonna be skippable that way forever. One four two zero zero. That's also maybe useful. We'll check the radio. What we can get. Oh. Wait, can I change it though? Can I? What is this? Is it plane? Oh right, wait, it's broadcasting on 142 and then I have to tune into 142 when I'm next to the Folky unit. I get it. I get it. So the Folky unit is on B8. So we need to go down. And then... This goes further down? No, this goes further down, okay. I got confused for a minute there. This way. Yep, of course. Okay. Let's see what this does. Oh. More copyrighted music. <laughs> Rickle Hummingbird key. Or is this in the public domain? I don't know. This classic piece might be in the public domain. Okay. So we have the Hummingbird key for that door over there. I think that's the door. We'll see. We'll find out. Yep. Come on. Okay, again the thing for us, whatever we are, and the ARAs. Part 1. Previous experience with these replica models? Yes. Uh, Yules tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance as the original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet dancer. Persona, persona degradation can be easily prevented in this unit by making sure they have access to music through tape players or musical instruments. Always place at least one mirror in Yule dorms as they have a strong urge to check their own appearance at regular intervals. Uh, Yule's persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance and through regular social interactions <laughs> the uh, 2022 human. Yules will often organize in groups of roughly 10 units and give each other themed nicknames. 
Even uh, AR, AR. Even though they may seem like quite simpletons, do not uh, underestimate others. While they may not show it, they judge those who are rude or unkind harshly and will quietly serve this judgment with their entire cadre. cadre. ARAAs, I'm gonna say this different every time, but anyway, Aras get along best with Yules, who tend to be patient and friendly and have a talent for reading ARAs expressionless faces. Faces. <laughs> <laughs> faces. In many facilities, ARAs will construct service tunnels accessible only to them, often under floors and in walls. Unstable units may retreat into these tunnels. It is not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. ARA personas can be best stabilized by allowing them access to plants to take care of, ideally colorful flowers or trees. Have you seen any colorful flowers or trees down here? Must be getting very itchy. Oh, the colibri. That's the, the thing. This is what's supposed to be that thing we met in the room. It looked like its head was bloated or something when we fought it. Commando Control Unit Bioresonance Technology Replica Hummingbird. Six, generation 6 High Tech Bioresonance Specialist. Bullet Resistant Armor Plating and rather short. A marvel of modern technology, the Colibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced. Every protector of Furux Commando Falke unit is aided by a cadre of KLBR unit adjacents which can amplify her bioresonance signals, as well as produce their own. Despite their diminutive build, Colibri is one of the most effective protector units. Able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gestalts, extract information non-verbally and communicate among themselves instantly in the full bandwidth of the senses, the Colibri's bioresonance is the closest to creation of a true hive mind. Okay. We only have two slots, so we'll hold off. Is that? Oh, the eagle key? Okay. That's a lot of keys. Colibri's notes. Keep an eye on Adler. He's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an LSTR unit working at Serpinski. There is no record of that model of replica ever being deployed here. An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander sickness. Uh, not yet. So we have the eagle key, this door is accessible, okay. Is there anything else that's interactable in here? I don't see anything. We'll leave these things for now. Okay. We're doing this again. 095. Still, I don't know what still is. Verbis too, where are you? Come on, give me the next one. What was that? 055? Was that 055? Yeah, yeah. Get fit feedback looped. Hoffnungsloss. I need to look at what that means. It shows up. And... Come on, give me the next numbers. 100. Give off. I'll give you. Warum bist du hier? Why are you here? Give up, uh, give to us, I think. One four seven. Yeah, the faces are completely distorted. Like bloated or something. Oh, that's just fun. Something back here. Postbox key, okay. Yeah, we need this. No space to carry 10mm ammo? No. No. And we're never coming back here. Well, we might. Yeah, we have the eagle key for over there. That. 
over there. Okay, let's go use the equal key and we might just come back to get the shotgun ammo. There's also... Okay, no, we'll come back one time with at least three slots, right? And get all these items. But we're still going to go use the equal key. Oh, come on. She clipped me, your honor. Uh, is it this one? It's the next one, right? No, it's this one, okay. Let's see what's in here. Ah, okay. Another office full of key items. Adler's diary. Oh, that's seven pages. I have been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture discovered in storage, a strange box with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I can hear it, hear it faintly clicking like a clock. It's a bomb! <laughs> Without Colibri's help, it has become much harder to coordinate the logistics cutter. If there is anything good to say about that woman, it is how she knows how to make others respect her orders, despite her minuscule stature. Well, because she plants them inside their minds, I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. I had a dream tonight, another memory of my gestalt life, I believe. I was wearing my uniform, there was a young woman, her hair white as snow, and I was again this white-haired woman. And I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them and asked her to guess the planet of the, on the card I was holding. I was playing with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I am now sure is some kind of astronomical calendar, when I suddenly remembered the conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model one, uh, a model I have never seen before, some type of engineer with an orange chest piece. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Sierpinski. Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say, but never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes the room. More sick, making my work even harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? My only consolation is that our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempt at treatment. Another daily field for no benefit but my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet since I spent my safe ration marks on that marvelous looking fountain pen. But I guess I'll make use of that notebook. Okay, so are, is this all his notebooks? Is this everything he's written? Generation 5 Cosmo Pioneer Specialist, Biomechanical with Carbon Fiber Reinforced Polyethylene and Titanium Skeleton. A versatile combat engineer unit primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited to specialist sappers and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units true survivalists, especially when in their iconic white and blue heavy combat configuration with sports bullet resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. Since the original neural pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the Central Neural Archive on Veneta, new LSTR units have been produced based on the commissioned unit from the Penrose program. Oh, the Penrose program! That's uh, when, when we started, right? The ship was called Penrose 512. Okay. Are the cards any note? No. We need something to place in the box. Which I'm supposing is in the post box, right? We need to get to the post box. On level 6, I believe. Or is it 7? Oh. I keep pressing up to change floors. No, it's not 7. It's six. No, oh, this way. I think the key said 0512 on it. Yeah, 0512. Oh, Penrose 512. Is this an accident? Did they just happen to use the same number twice? Oh, the library key, okay. Okay. 
do I want to go? So we've left behind a healing item, a uh, prod, and some handgun ammo, none of which would be useful to exist in our inventory, so we're not gonna go pick them up right now. Where is the library? I don't remember the floor, is it 7? I'll keep doing that. No, dining room is 7. It's 8? It's 8. So we'll have to go. Maybe it would be smart to make some slots and get... Yeah, you know what? I'll leave the injector back. We don't seem to be using them a lot. And we're gonna find the key, uh, healing item inside that room. A couple, I think. So we'll leave the injectors. We'll leave the extra shotgun ammo, maybe. We're not firing too much. Yeah, we'll just store it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, on the one hand, I'm thinking I never have enough resources with me and I end up running past all opponents. On the other hand, I'm thinking maybe that's the point. Why would I fight them if I can just run past them and they don't drop loot or anything? Yeah, so we need to go all the way down to 8. We run past this lady all the way to the end of the room and to the uh, down. Down. Then we need to go into the hummingbird room again. Pick up all this stuff. So we'll create a slot by using the library key, so we'll have one slot available after reaching our destination from on run. And yeah. The bouquetry. <laughs> okay. There's a wounded one in here. Colibri. Who are you? You're not one of our staff. Yeah, obviously. The others, they've changed. We no longer sing in unison. I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together, we gathered them all. But now I can't understand their thoughts anymore. Uh, see, I, I guess it means the ones that have gone crazy, the ones we fought, right? I've never been so alone before. They're still together and I am here outside and they won't let me in. I cannot stand their song anymore. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. This is the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this, I wish I could become like the others too, at least then I wouldn't be alone. Oh, come on. I hate this, yeah. Okay, so just... Yeah. No. I'm not giving up a slot for that. We already have a repair patch on us, so I'll take this. Uh, known issues. Great care should be given to Colibris, their neural patterns are very unstable and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, Colibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them, acting as a sort of amplifier. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresonant connection, neural pattern development in Colibri is very less than in other models. Their constant exchange of memories and emotions between units as a cadre acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. However, once a majority of units in a cadre degrade, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it is important to decommission Colibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona, for persona stabilization, Colibri should have access to a well-stocked library. Okay, so she felt safe in the library. I get it. And then overview for Mina, generation 3, okay, so they're old, industrial specialist. When it comes to dangerous cargo, heavy machinery and hazardous environments, no other model rivals the MNHR units with their high security power armor bodies. Even in lethal radiation under classic pressure and in zero G, they keep their calm demeanor and show exemplary teamwork. teamwork. Despite their hulking bodies, underneath their face shields, a standard generation 3 cranial construction can be found. 
meeting maintenance and social interfacing as easy as with any other replica modern so only the face is like human anymore please note that the mnhr neural pattern is not suited for combat use for combat applications the sub variant should be used which employs a combat capable persona in the same frame okay for more information see Svere anti-panzer replica snapper okay okay Alignment error, use manual controls, ob obstacle detected. Is that the obstacle? I guess. Oh, this is like a library and we can pick books. Oh, uh, one book is different, so I'm guessing that's the book we need to grab. Oh no, wait. Why didn't it stop? No, stop. Why are you doing this? Ah, uh, I think I see. I have to find a way. It only moves in absolutes, right? So I have to find a way. Mm, that didn't work. Okay, this is how you bring it here, I guess. Yeah, this is to bring it back. Okay. You go the wrong way, you're screwed, actually. So how do I get back? How am I supposed to get? Do I have any other controls here? Nothing I can see. Oops, yeah, no shit. Yeah, it's it's what it looks like. There's nothing we're missing except a way out. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, the king in yellow again. The same book. Astrolabe. Okay, I guess that's that goes. Back at the the thing, the shrine box in the study. So we'll get back to it. Do you have any slots? No. A strange clockwork like that mechanism with astronomical symbols at the front. Yeah, this looks like it fits that area of the box. So what's the quickest way to it? Oh, that's the only way to it. I see, I see, I see. There's... Okay... I'm guessing I have to align stuff again. This seems aligned enough, right? The pattern behind. Yeah. But 
say there's nothing. This is also aligned, so it works both ways. There's some cards here, but I don't see anything useful. I mean, the circle is here, but the rest is not. Let's see, what does the diary say? Nothing about it. Solve it, I guess. There's square boxes all around it. Like, this is my issue with the puzzles, okay? So, they are hard not because they are actually hard, but because they are not explained. When you realize what you have to do, it's simple to just do it. And I'm not quite sure if that's the correct way to approach puzzles. Now, what am I supposed to... There's symbols here and... Like... It's an astrolabe. Is there anything in the room that gives us... Back a lot. No, it's not the same symbol. It wouldn't be that far back, would it? Am I missing something on this folder? I'm looking for visual clues, right? Something that's not immediately apparent, but there's no other. Oh no! I don't think these cards mean anything. Obviously, it has to do with this thing in the middle. But I don't get what am I supposed to. Like, the pattern is perfectly aligned right now, so that's not it. You don't have to align the pattern. Or these. Oh, wait! Okay, I just had a brain fart. Guessing, could that be it? Because Heimat is marked the same way that the top of that astrolabe is marked, right? And I'm thinking that maybe if we had uh, the eye module with us, we'd be able to take a picture of this so we can remember it. But thankfully, eye module or not. I have a way to take a picture of this. I'll just wait for it to make a full rotation so I can be... More 
actually I can just yeah it's fine yeah I'm sure it's these guys the two lines are the Kitez and Vinetta thing wait we got this we got this we got this we got this So let me see. If this is Heinat, then the big guy is right over there. The this thing is right over here. Possibly one to the left, and this is over there. Yes. Okay. Okay. The administrator's key. Eleven pages. Let me have a sip of coffee. I've started yet another new diary. How time flies. The work is dull and monotonous as ever in Sierpinski, but the bright light illuminates my day. Today, I was invited to a meeting by Commander Folke, and she was as magnificent as ever. So this must be before, right? Things went. To shit and Commander Folke was lost Another, or ill. Another day passes. During my meeting with the Commander today I felt a strange sensation of familiarity as I sat with her. Sadly our meeting was interrupted by an unexpected power outage. I've been feeling strangely paranoid these days. Never before have I felt so strong with the sensation of deja vu as I have these past few days. When I checked the pages of my diary today I noticed that for some inexplicable reason I seem to have dated my previous entries with today's date. What an embarrassing mistake. Every day feels a bit like I've lived it before. Are they caught in a time loop or something? And even stronger is the sensation that something is somehow just slightly out of place. Why is my diary filled with entries I cannot recall writing? And they're all on the same day, right? Why are they all dated to the day? Has the loss of my beloved commander finally got into my mind? Oh... Am I going insane? I fear what will happen to me if anyone finds out I am alone in this. If they discover my notes, I'll be decommissioned too. So, at the start, commander was okay. They had a meeting. Something is wrong, I can feel it. Is this really madness? When I read the pages of my diary, I recall events that never happened, a yesterday that never was, yet it feels as real as the one I actually experienced. This cannot merely be a defect of my mind. It feels as though in this room I peer into another version of reality. How? I do not know. Perhaps I too have become sick like the others without realizing, but I will not succumb. A slow accumulation of reproduction errors, a gradual corruption of information, a story misremembered, slowly morphing with its retelling, like generic material mutating and evolving, like, like the replica mind copied over and over from an aging template? I do not know, but I will find out. The answer is lie below, I can feel it. Someone or something calls me from there, in the mind. Yeah. And that's what we've got access to now, the mind. Just taking a quick look, seeing if we have missed anything. No. So we'll just go to level 5 and fix our inventory a bit. And then we'll come back down to 8 and go into the mine. The mine entrance is right over here. Five past. Drop a save. Drop items first. We have accumulated a sound amount of ammunition and weaponry and stuff we're not actually using we should be able to start using them okay thank you for joining me i'll see you in the next one bye bye